Hi, and this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com coming to you for your personal growth and spiritual development and this short presentation is all about vibration and it's about objects it's about belongings which really are irrelevant because we come into the world with nothing and we leave with nothing but while we're here in this body which is a vehicle to carry our soul spirit energy personality around our mind around we collect things what i would suggest is that you collect memories retain stories <laughs> that are positive and also artifacts things belongings that you travel like but what you do take with you is positive in terms of memories, people, things, stories. I want to talk about amulets. And I'm looking over here because here I have one of my favourite ones which I was given by a temple. This is beautiful. Gold leaf. Gold encasements. And this is a, a pressed lozenge. It's been blessed and sincerely embedded with positive vibrations from this monk at this temple. Over the years, I've collected many of these things. I've got some of them in the UK, but when I go back, I've got this one that was given to me by somebody that I value in the family. This is a Om, Om, side Ganesh the representation and even the Om symbol which is mathematics and all symbols are holographic and that's another story but it's the intention that's in here it's the intention goldfish doesn't know who Ganesh is and what Om is but a goldfish would benefit from this as would a tree it doesn't have imagination and creative thinking he certainly sends his vibration as does a dog, as does an elephant, as does somebody who hasn't heard of Ganesh, would still feel the positive power from this. And if you just wear it, have it with you, have it in the same room as you, you would benefit from it. I've got scroll amulets. I've got singing bowls that have vibration, crystals that have vibration, texts, even if you don't read the Quran, the Apocrypha, the Torah, the Bible, these, the, the, the Dai Te Ching, these ancient written scripted passages of wisdom have a vibration. And even if you never read them, just to have them with you. Plants, flowers, animals, pictures, textures, colours, smells, tastes, they all have a positive effect. Possibly the thing that I value the most, just drop my glasses on the floor, is this cross. And I was brought up Church of England, C of E. And my father... When I was 40, he bought me this. I had the chain, he bought me the cross. It's actually, sounds a bit elitist to say, but it's actually a, a tricolored gold. And it's um, a replica of the Chanel cross that is exactly the same. I didn't know that at the time, but I was told that by a jeweler when I had it put on the chain. I just love the beauty of it. And the cross is symbolic of so many things. It's been adopted by the Christian faith, the Jesus movement, but it predates that. But all these things that you can carry, wear, have with you in your vibration, in your presence, in your rooms, in your cars, in your offices, on your person, in your place and space, will brighten up your face. Because everything has a vibration. And everything that you buy has a meaning. It doesn't have a meaning to anybody else. And we intellectualise our meanings, sometimes to our detriment. Sometimes we attach meanings that 
don't help us. We fear things that other people don't fear. We worry about things and become negative and anxious about things that other people doesn't even concern them. We have things that are precious to us that would mean nothing to other people and we invest time in things that quite often the wrong things and the wrong people. There's a beautiful saying, why do we cross oceans for people that wouldn't step over puddles for us? <laughs> but those stories of you crossing oceans and people not stepping over puddles is irrelevant. It's the vibration and the intention of you doing everything for some people and them doing very little for you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you have, whether these things are beautifully gold encased and beautiful works of art. Or if it was just, well, I say just, if it was a pebble off the beach, a piece of bark off a tree, a pine cone, a leaf. I used to do a lot of work many years ago for students at Rydal, which is a private school in Colwyn Bay. And there was um, an influx of Chinese students who felt really out of the comfort zone. And I used to go and support and assist some of those students young girls and boys who were away from home, frightened, out of the culture, out of the language comfort zone, came to me and I did holistic mentoring with them, counselling. And I never asked for a penny, but quite often they would give me something that they'd made, which meant the world to me. You couldn't write a cheque in those days or give me enough money to put the smile on my face that those handmade gifts meant to me. I remember a girl had given me a shell off the beach. I've still got that. In fact, it's in my collection of crystals that I brought here to Thailand. And that's got to be 20 years ago. Now that money, had she given me money, would have been spent. The memory in that shell and the love and the intention of giving me that shell as a thank you means the world. So have things around you that mean the world, that change your world. And these things have vibration and they are important and they're called amulets. And these amulets, these signs create wonders and do wonders for you. And be aware of what does wonders for you, what's important, what's significant and have those things around you. Create and collect stories memorabilia, things that are, that lift your vibration and put a smile on your face and make you feel good. And uh, keep checking back for more words of wisdom that come through me, not from me. And um, when I come back to the UK very shortly, I'll be showing you some of the other amulets that I've collected from here in Thailand, which is a world of sacred geometry and wonderful esoteric wisdom and occult knowledge that's still practiced daily. And I think we in the West need to re-assimilate and relearn some of the stuff that we've forgotten because we know this, but we just need to waken up to it and make it work for us because this stuff works, but most of us it's working against us and not for us, like elemental forces. They work whether you believe in them or not, they're convenient or, or not, or whether you understand them or not. Elemental forces, the power of the universe is at play all the time and the trick is to get it to work for you, like mental laws. So have a wonderful, powerful day and get things, people and places around you. Make your space a vibrational hub of high energy so that you can be high energy and live a wonderful, powerful, fulfilling life. God bless.